Hi folks. Hey, I threw a small handful of bowl forms yesterday and decided I was going to flute them just as I got into throwing, which meant I had to throw these, these pots with a wall thickness not quite half an inch. I'm taking almost a quarter of an inch off the outside wall with this fluting tool. So you have to allow for that thickness and uh, the removal of the outside flutes. Um, these pots are still too soft to trim at the bottom and the rim I can bend just a little bit without cracking. That's about the right consistency to start the fluting or to do your fluting. Um, all these little burrs and pieces that get stuck onto the pots as I flute, I don't worry about them now. Before I put them in the bisque kiln, I'm going to hit them with a piece of green scrubby and smooth them out. Now I've removed the, the bowls from the bat they were thrown on and as you see I've elevated them on a bucket and a bat and my banding wheel. I also extended the, um, the bowl, I positioned it over the edge of the banding wheel so the length of my handle doesn't bump into the banding wheel or the bat. And that just makes things convenient. But what's important here to me is that I'm doing it at almost face level. I can see exactly what the tool is doing. I'm not moving the tool real fast. I'm just being consistent. Now this bowl, this particular one, I slightly squared off with uh, four soft corners. It just makes for a more interesting visual from the top. So keep moving it around and continue to flute slowly. Now I'm going to pick a glaze that's going to break on all these edges when it comes to glazing these pieces. And this particular bowl I'm just doing a top to bottom flute. One can do angular ones or you can mix it up. A little bit of angle, a little bit of straight. But it's a very quick, easy way to put a surface onto a, a round, smooth form without too much effort. Now this tool particularly, um, these little wings right here and here, they keep the fluting blade from going too far into the pot. So as long as you throw with the correct thickness, these wings will keep you from cutting through the pot. I also line up the left side of the blade and the right side of that wing with this edge that I've last cut. That's sort of my guide. You know, a nice Celadon glaze on these, or an ash glaze that will break on the edges, can look really good. Also, the fluting changes the rim configuration. And what I mean by that is, I have a fluted rim now also. So if you look at it from the top, I've got these fluted scallops on the outside of the rim, which again visually adds a little bit of interest to the pot. Now as you get to the end and work your way around, you're hoping that your spacing works out. It doesn't always. So before you get there, you've got to look at it and say, yeah this will work or no that won't. Okay, all those little pieces I'll let dry. I'm not going to deal with them now. All these little bits and pieces, when their pots are stiff leather hard, I'll get them trimmed. I'll show you that later today. Thanks for watching.